Good evening, I am Chief Weather Forecaster Noah Gordon with your Newslink Indiana Weather. Taking a look outside right now, we see temperatures backing down into the really cool uh, nighttime temperatures we've seen lately. 67 here in Muncie, 72 in Indianapolis, the warm spot out here in the state, 73 Evansville right now. Uh, really has been a beautiful fall-like day across the region today. Uh, if we look at the almanac for today especially, today's high 75, 5 degrees are of average high of 70, but overall still really comfortable weather across most of the region, nowhere near our record high of 87, only set back in 2020. Now tonight, if you're headed out anywhere, going to be a little bit chilly. You might want to grab one of those heavier jackets, especially if you're headed out anywhere late at night. Clear a low of 42 degrees with calm winds tonight. Going to be cold, like I mentioned. Tomorrow, another beautiful fall-like day across most of the region. 68 here in Muncie under sunny skies with a west wind at about 5 miles an hour. Going to be perfect if you're headed out anywhere tomorrow for classes. Abundant sunshine throughout the day. Now. The main weather maker and the main news maker, in fact, for most of the United States today is Hurricane Milton. Now, Hurricane Milton expected to make landfall here as a Category 3 hurricane on the Florida Gulf Coast between Tampa and Sarasota in a couple of hours here. Now, I mentioned that it's Category 3. used was originally a Category 5, but has since weakened it down to a Category 3. Uh, winds at about 120 miles an hour sustained, moving northeast at about 15 miles an hour. Now, luckily, though, what we should see with this hurricane is that it will typically move off uh, the Atlantic coast here by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. So we should be spared from seeing any of those inland flooding impacts like we saw with Hurricane Helene a week or two ago. Now, speaking of rain, we are not getting a lot of it here in East Central Indiana. And because of that, the drought is starting to slowly move its way back into the picture here. We take a look at our drought monitor. We see portions of Blackford J and either northern Delaware County in that moderate drought here. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that expanded when the drought monitor updates here tomorrow because we are not seeing any rainfall in the near future and things are not really looking too good. But on the other hand, we are going to see some cooler, really fall like temperatures, especially in the next week. Our six to 10 day temperature outlook shows above average temperatures, especially out along the Rockies. But look here, if we look across the eastern coast in the Appalachians, we see those much below average temperatures here, especially in the next week. So we may see highs in the 50s and even 60s next week, which really gives us that first shot at fall weather. But with that cooler weather also comes those cool overnight lows, which means because of that, we may see some frost, actually the first real frost chances of the fall season here next week. Now, our average first frost here is October 3rd. And our latest on record is November 12th. So we're really not too much out of either extreme. We are about a, m a week or two late here normally from our first frost though. Now, if we take a look here at our seven day forecast, we see those fall temperatures continuing throughout the region. 68 on Thursday. 76 on Friday. Clouds move in 78 on Saturday, 71 on Sunday, 55 though as that cold front moves through late Sunday for your Columbus Day down to only 53 on Tuesday, 56 on Wednesday and those overnight lows in the mid to upper 30s bringing that frost chance next week. For more information make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at NLI Weather.